Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video and welcome back and welcome to part to the third and final part of of episode seven of Bray Talks uh, so, uh Soap Talks. So the first the, if you haven't watched the first two first two parts of, of this episode, really what the hell have you been doing? Um but yeah, and that is, you know, uh, I uh, and that is, you know, do, uh, I've been talking about all sorts of information about, um, all sorts of information about, uh, about you know this upcoming you know death in the out uh, death in the outback week or outback week as I as as everyone loves to call it because I've said it so many times I love to sound my own voice and I'm gonna say it out that means I'm gonna say it again. Definitely saying definitely out back week is to is a mouthful to say. So yeah, um, so so yeah, uh, but this time around I am get it's not just gonna be neighbours gonna be talking about it's also home and away as well because um some because uh, as I, as I'm recording this which is on Monday the twelfth of August we had. An episode which ended in a very in a usually dramatic way, when where a a, a uh, well known obviously uh, uh, well, uh, uh, or much loved character collapsed uh, following the, uh, uh, after their friends' engagement party. So yeah, um, so yeah, so. Um, uh, yeah, and also I will be talking about also some new information about death in the, uh, about our back week. That kind of that I the, that I found out today as I'm recording this. That kind of, which was I wasn't I wasn't expecting, um, and and that is sort of uh, sort of we uh, in this we figured out who gets shot in the outback. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. So basically, I was turning a lot of ways. But anyways, um, so yeah, so those are the things we're going to talk about. So first off, home and away. Now, um, so so of course today's episode uh, was very was very very interesting. Obviously, of course, first look, first proper look into Abigail Fowler, obviously. Um, who's of course played by ha by Haley Pinto, uh, yeah. And first, first because she 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 was allowed in last Thursday's episode, um, but it was only for like till the for the end of the episode, which was unfortunate, really. But the, we got a first proper look on uh, today, and yeah, it, 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 and obviously all the description. I said a, a few weeks ago was is true <laughs> in this first scene, obviously, um, and of course, obviously, she's high. Of course, um, you know, wanting her, uh, wanting her older siblings in Eden. Obviously, obviously, Eden is of course getting married, obviously, and then obviously Levi to you know, you know, uh, re reunite, obviously. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, that, uh, that yeah. Which uh, obviously, if you guys, if you guys have watched uh, watched Home and Away for for the last few months, uh, it's been it's been kind of it's been mostly been kind of frosty between you know the t between between uh, between Levi. Uh, between uh, between the two siblings in Eden and Levi, or well, had been it had been ever since Levi came, uh, came into the bay ever since ever, uh, ever since then, but it died down a little bit and then basically it started and then it worked up again when it, when um when when, when Eden found out that Levi was cheating on uh, cheating on his wife with Mackenzie, so um so yeah. Um, and then, ba and since then, it's just basically that, oh, uh, it's been not just with Levi, but with Mackenzie as well. Um, and it's caused, you know, drenching in the bay, pretty much. And then, obviously, you know, um, 
And of course, we all we all know, obviously, you know, you know I said Eden and Cash got engaged. Obviously, he obviously congratulated her on it, and and you could tell things were pretty. But uh, when, when I first saw that, what uh, off at the end of that, I thought I reminded myself, hang on, this. I, I feel like, I, I feel like that that was different though. Um, her face, her face just was was different. I thought that maybe she, she I thought that maybe she, you know, goes like, oh, buzz off, you know, you know, in a way, and get away from me and that sort of stuff. But she didn't. She was. They both handled it pretty, handled that situation pretty well, to be honest. And how did that which perfectly to be honest. Um and so yeah, and then obviously um Felicity came up with the idea of a massive engagement party for Cash and Eden. Um of course out on, 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 on the beach. Why because why the hell not? <laughs> but anyways, um and said and said straight away that um, you know Leewa wasn't invited and that sort of stuff. And then that's when you know Abby came along and and that's when Abby came in. And, and then obviously this episode here, uh, of course, it, it started off with the with the the cutest moment was basically um, was Cash putting the putting the engagement ring on on Eden's finger. Which is, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, that's cute, so cute. And the way that Cash was like, oh, you're talking, and then Eden's like, shut up and put the thing on my finger. <laughs> it was freaking funny. Oh, that was hilarious. That was, that was hilarious the way Cash it. added that in as well. But, uh, and then even more funny was how um, Remy got uh, got, got in the bed. He's, he's like, well, um, I'm going to be a chauffeur for, for this evening. And then they're like, nah, nah, uh, nah, we're going to walk. And then he's like, nah, nah, nah. Uh, under, uh, I've been in, under false pretenses. You're coming with me. <laughs> so, yeah. And at the end of the day, sure enough, blindfolds on, revealed, and, and that's how the engagement party was going on, obviously. Um, and... The party's going well, obviously. Unfortunately, Levi, Mackenzie, and Abigail turned up, which I thought, oh no, on oh, no. I immediately when I first saw when I first saw this, I was like, oh no, this is gonna this is gonna go off like wildfire. Oh no, <laughs> but it but it didn't go too badly to it to to be honest. Obviously, um. Uh, obviously, uh, obviously, Ida was very happy to see it, to see it, to see her, to see her little sis. Obviously, um, but um, but not as uh, but pleased, but but a bit more pleased than I thought it'd be to see Levi, which is surprisingly enough. And then obviously, um, things about Abby started coming out about uh, the fact that she got a she hitchhiked. A ride, a ride to Summer Bay, uh, which uh, Levi and, and Eden were not kind of two best pleased about, let's be honest. Um, more than likely, it would be Shovel, <laughs> let's be honest here. Uh, but, um, but yeah, so, so yeah, and then obviously, you know, and then obviously Levi's like, nah, I. It, it, before it causes any more awkwardness, I'm going back. I'm leaving before all this gets awkward. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah. So um, so yeah, and basically, excuse me. It's, uh, yeah. So uh, then Abby and then Abby and uh, and Levi had a conversation with Mac. Just being there, obviously, <laughs> just being there, and then obviously, which leads to Abigail. You know. Actually, I think I know what it was about. Yeah, that um, Abigail wanted the place to stay, wanted the place, it wanted to crash at that place. But unfortunately, um, yeah, uh, the place has already been filled because obviously there's Mac and Levi, and then there's also Tana and, Mar and Marley. So obviously, um, place is quite full, except on the couch. In a lot of ways, you can probably crash on the couch a lot of ways. Anyways. 
Um, but yeah, but she didn't. She wasn't too happy about the possibility of staying in the motel. <laughs> she wasn't too happy about that. And um, and yeah, and basically, she ups and leaves. Uh, with um. With, with Levi's, with Levi's wallet, you know, aka money, and yeah, so yeah, and then that's how the episode ends there. But, but then ends there. But then, obviously, at the end of the episode, you could tell there was something brewing there between, you know, Flick and Tane. Let's be honest here, which was caused the concern, which. Which, uh, which was the cause of, uh, which was, um, which was seen quite obviously by Dana, obviously, because, um, because we all know, um, as we all know, Harper, her sister Harper, still has feelings for Tane. So, and plus also, she's pregnant and with, um, and the father is Tane. So, uh, so it's a bit quite, it's been quite awkward there, and, and it still hasn't been revealed yet that to er, to everybody around around Summer Bay that Felicity, uh, not Felicity, sorry, Harper is pregnant um, with Tane, uh, pregnant, and Tane is the father. So nobody, uh, so those two details have not been revealed yet to everybody else in Summer Bay. So yeah, and and it obviously leads to obviously Data saying to Xander, oh, oh, do you think those two ever get together? And then he's like, uh, those two never stop, never stop loving each other and that sort of stuff, which is kind of true in a lot of ways. And I find it cute as well that um, I find it cute as well that um, that remember that their first meeting right like, two years ago. <laughs> they, 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 they those familiar lines there of like when when Flick when Flick said said oh, oh you, my friends think, you, think you're hot and and it, you want to know the single and then Tato's like your friends want to know do they or you <laughs> oh I just find that so uh, that that was so cute there as well but looking back at it now I think it actually is a bit of an indictment obviously. Uh, to what was eventually what's potentially going to happen throughout the course of this week and next week as well. So yeah, so what ha so the end of the night, you know, you know, you know, um, there was you know, um, you know, Cash and Eden are there, obviously, uh, down at Salt that later that night with, of course, Xander and Dana, obviously, and Felicity and Tane. Um, so yeah, and Felicity, uh, so Felicity and Tardo, they're looking at Eden and Cash, you know, just, you know, slow dance, that sort of stuff. And then out of nowhere, out of the blue, Felicity collapse, collapses, out of the blue. And, and that's where it leads on this cliffhanger of her collapsing and the pro, and the bit of the pro, the sneak peek promo is that her, 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 her in hospital is just, wow. Just absolutely, and then obviously, you know, um, Tane is just devastated, obviously, because obviously this is, because that they, 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 because they used to be together, that and for a long while, and they were, and they actually were married, um, and you know, it, 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 and you know, it, and the fact that she might be gone, basically, that's when <laughs> Tane breaks down. Um, in the elevator in the hospital, and then basically, sh and then basically, flick crashes in it. So, uh, so yeah. So basically, this is what it leads to. Obviously, the promo, which was you know at the same time, was you know, um, which was revealed after the episode aired, uh, after the episode, uh, after the episode ended. Uh, so yeah. So. Uh, Read the article here. Now I haven't, you know, I, I, now I haven't even looked into the um, look through the promo just yet. But anyways, um, so yeah, so uh, so, so I'll, I'll read the article here. In the article here now. Um, home and away at home and away pro, uh, promo teaser teasers for listening Newman's death. So they've already freaking confirmed it. Here. They've already freaking confirmed it, but. It, that won't happen probably until next week, probably. 
Um, so yeah, Home and Away has aired a new a new promo previewing Felicity Newman's de death as she collapses in tonight's Australian episode. Today's episode saw Flick and and Remy uh, Remy blindfold newly engaged. Yeah, yeah, we, we all know about that. we all know about that. Let's skip it. Let's skip that. Um, recent recent episode saw Cash make a spur of the moment decision to propose to Eden having never previously suggested that marriage was on the cards. In, in fact, Eden pranked Cash into thinking he, he'd proposed after Tane and Felicity's wedding. Oh, I remember that. I remember that, by the way. Yeah, uh, he was horrified at the idea. It was partly partly the, uh, that reaction which caused Eden to hesitate in, say, in saying yes. But after a, a, a little encouragement from Remy and, and assurance from, from Cash that uh, that he was indeed sincere in, in his proposal, she uh, she excitedly told him she uh, she uh, she'd marry him eventually. Yeah, as some of his young younger members ga gathered to celebrate the t uh, the party, <laughs> it also provided a reunion of sorts for for Felicity and ex husband Tane who, who split late last year. The, the pair agreed. Uh, pair had had agreed. So had agreed to start a baby. So so yeah. And then you know, it's a backstory that Felicity lied about. Obviously wanting to start a family, but she lied. As I said, she lied about it. And then she got found out about it. And then Tane said, "No, nah, we're done." Yeah, because yeah. But so yeah, that's the best thing. gone underway. It, Festivities gone uh, gone the way. Tane invited his estranged wife to dan dance with him, and and, and they look uh, and both look blissfully happy as they chatted to, and dan danced the uh, dance together. Yeah. <laughs> so um. So yeah, and they helped to salt to grab more alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, said some more things. Yeah. Uh, in the side of the pair, slow dancing was a concern. It was a, a concern for her, uh, for Dana, whose sister Har Harvard is currently hiding the fact that she's pregnant with Tane's baby, and the fact that also, uh, and the fact that also Harper has feelings for him. So yeah, as I said earlier, but yeah, asking Xander whether, whether he he thought he thought uh, that uh, that Tane and Flink were, were going to get back together, he replied. Well, if you ask me, I feel I feel like they've never stopped loving each other. <laughs> so that's what he said. At the end of the evening, Tane, uh, Flick and Tane, the strange couple, yada yada. Already mentioned that. Yeah, uh, happy yada yada. So yeah, she she then got she engaged Tane at uh, glasses at the bar, seemingly hoping he he'd be caught up in the, in the romantic atmosphere to give the relationship another chance. Yet it wasn't to be, yeah. And then because a well, after this, this happened. Um, as Tana, as Tana brought up more drinks, uh, uh, Nieski told him to leave it before direct, uh, directing Santa to finish his shift, have a dance with Dana, yada yada, all all of that. Uh, so and then. So, yeah, so, yeah, so Flick and so so Flick said, oh, even said, oh, you, you, so we so we're gonna dance dance again, and then seconds later, vision blurs, vision blurs, and then this happens. Um, she, putting putting her head putting her hand to her head after feeling a sharp pain, she collapses, hitting the ground hard. Tane rushes over, rushes over. <laughs> Rushes over to her, to her as she lays on the lays on the floor, bringing the emotional episode to a to an end. Now, now a new promo has previewed the aftermath of Flick's sudden collapse, which begins one in one of the first appearances. Oh, we, we, we all as we all know the first appearance of obviously of, of Flick back then, obviously um, dancing in the city bar, obviously yada yada. For setting eyes on Tane, the man who uh, uh, the man who she she would go on to marry, obviously. Other clips show early days of you know like of a lot of stuff, yada yada. Anything so yada yada. 
In return of the present day, we see it. We see Tane telling Felicity if if you ever need anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, probably not because uh, she'll probably most likely be gone. <laughs> so yeah, more pair yeah, so then her uh, transported to Northern District's Hospital. <clears throat> then more then to more happier times. De then to more sad times. Then there's her then there's the pictures here, there's his flick of uh, being on being on a ventilator. So yeah. Uh, the, so yeah, uh, and then oh uh, uh, actually yeah oh life support yeah uh, yeah home and away recently teased that one of our favourites won't make it. Irene was one of the characters at risk, but she exited the show. Uh, she exited the show last week as she heads to a rehab clinic because obviously after what happened with with a drinking problem, so rearing its ugly head again. So yeah. And she's expected to return in early 2025. So, unfortunately, we're not going to see our lovable Irene Roberts again, unfortunately, for the rest of the year. Cash, Harper, and Eden, and Eden were also in the list of potential casualties. But we... Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, it's only... Uh, but, all, but, but, all, but it turns out it was none of those three anyways. Which left only one. Which left only one name. Felicity, quite obviously. Tane, as Tane, uh, Tane uh, talk, talk in the corridor. Cash g gives Tane the pessimistic uh, prognosis. It's bad. Yeah, of course, of course it is. Oh, and then more highlights of years in, of flicks years in the bay. And then her lying unconscious. Um, and and then of course Cash says to Tane, "I'm not ready." So that means she that he's been given the best possible, the the, the worst possible news surround for her, uh, for his sister, and that is yeah, yeah. And how and how appropriately, <laughs> appropriately, his fiance had his had his sister arrive in summer uh, arrive in Summer Bay. Yet his sister, at the same time, is going to die, will, will, will most likely be be dead. How, how appropriate is that, really? How how fitting is that? And they also and they also the two of them also talked about talked about being cursed as well. They also talked about that as well. I forgot to I forgot to mention that. They also said that as well. But yeah. Um, no, but I know, but it's time. Yeah. So basically, so basically, the decision is that eventually, it, that 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 decision is for Cash to basically turn off his sister's life support, which means that she does die. So yeah, that's uh, but yeah. So so yeah. Then a scene. Then. In a scene later later in the week, it appears Led has uh, Cash has learnt that there's no hope of recovery for his sister. Um, he and, and one of the nurses are seen escorting Felicity's body for, uh, through the corridor uh, to get uh, on an on a walk. Wow. Okay. So um, that's that's a bit strange, really, to to see all all all, all the nurses and the doctors and all the district hospital get uh, give um. Get, uh, given on a walk, so, so yeah, so that's how much she, she's meant, and and yeah, so so yeah, um, so at the ceremonial event is held commemorating patients whose organs are are to be donated after their death. Yeah, so yeah, uh, yes, and yeah, so, but yeah, so, so yeah. So, uh, so, and then this is what, um, so this is, so this is what, seri what the series, uh, se uh, the Home and Away's, you know, series producer, L Lucy Adario, also said on 7 News, also said this, said that, uh, 
This week's episodes and leading into next Monday are simply unmissable. The community will, will rally in what, what will become a fight, a fight of a lifetime and ultimately end in a death that will rock the bay. We have, we have not seen a goodbye like this in years. All, all I could say is make sure your bo your tissue box is close by you close by you will need it yeah so so yeah so yeah Te uh, teaser spoilers for next week uh, for, uh, for next week for next week's episodes give some clues as to the timeline for Felicity's departure. Tomorrow, uh, tom in tomorrow's episode, Felicity fight, uh, fights for her life while Cash is left in the dark. On Wednesday, Cash holds on to hope while Norman Disputes Hospital doctors Bree and Levi are put to the test. Then next Monday, uh, next mo uh, next then next Monday, the nineteenth of August, how appropriately is the is the start of Neighbours Death in the Outback Week. That that amount of information I'll get to in a bit. Um, it, Cash makes the, a difficult choice, which is it, it, as he grapples with whether he, whether to give a, a give the go ahead to switch off his sister's life support machine. Felicity, Felicity made a, Felicity made her first appearance near near nearly exactly three years ago on August the nineteenth, twenty twenty one, and. <laughs> and appropriately, she might die on that. The character might die on that same day. <laughs> it, oh, three years. Oh, Jesus Christ! There, her death was first teased last week when a promo revealed that either Flick, Eden, Irene, or Harper would die within days. So yeah. So eh, eh. so this is. So yeah, so this is obviously the rest of the week. So yeah, um, so, so this is these are, these are the spoilers for the rest of the week, and also the first two episodes of next week too, as well. To, uh, first, uh, Tuesday the thirteenth of August, which is tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> a some of their favourite fights for their life, which is which you all know now is it is it is uh, Felicity. Cash is left in the dark. Wednesday, the fourteenth of August. Cash holds on, holds on to hope. Bree and Le and Levi are put to the test. Abigail gets sticky fingers. I don't know. I don't know what is that? I don't know what that means. But anyways, Thursday, <laughs> Thursday, the fifteenth of August. Marley gets a br gets a. Uh, Gets a brush of inspiration from Kirby. Kirby Mackenzie is left to uh, to her uh, is is left to her own devices, of, uh, which uh, which I'll get to that. It gets it gets the aftermath that in a bit. When Levi cleans up Abigail's mess, the second episode of Thur on Thursday, Kirby has high hopes for Marley. Perry steps in as a, as a mentor. Uh, steps in as mentor. Okay, so that's uh, quite interesting there. Um, but uh, yeah, Monday. Uh, so down to down to next week's episode. Monday, the nineteenth of August. Dana is sister of the year. Cash makes a difficult choice, and we all know what that is. So I'm not going to rehash it again. Tuesday, the twentieth of August. Mackenzie McKen crumbles at work. Cash makes a difficult phone call. I know who that phone call was going to be. I think I know who, who that phone call was going to be. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I think I know, I think I know who it would be. So yeah. So with with it being true, with it being confirmed. What does that do? I'll say it said a bit. I said it a moment ago. Said Felicity. Uh, sorry, Mackenzie crumbles at work. What does that do for Salt? What is it? What what is going to happen to Salt now? 
because they, because obviously Mac and Flick are co-owners of this. What happens from there on? Because I highly doubt that money the the money that Max getting getting I don't think that will that will be enough to you know to to, to settle all the freaking you know salt lanes that sort of stuff or maybe Xander maybe somehow steps up I don't know I don't, I don't know I don't think he would, he would, I don't think he I don't think that that will happen but it, but anyways um. So yeah, and the reason, and the main reason why Flick took took on co ownership of Salt was because of all of what happened with obviously, 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 um, Mac ran the money, she, uh, and then obviously, um, fully. Felicity decided on uh, on co own this, and, and, we, and we all know what happened afterwards. You know, with all, with with the with the all the money gambling, all that sort of all that's all that freaking shit shit business happened then. Um, but um, but yeah, it was it it was just yeah. So so I don't know what's gonna happen to Salt now after Flick's gone. We we don't know. Does I mean does it does Mac become the sole owner now? Does 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 Xander step up? I don't know, but that that will probably be that they'll probably be outlined probably over the next few weeks. Let's put it that way. Um. So yeah, but uh, yeah, so. So yeah, so it, so it was teased for the last week that someone will unfortunately die in some of that in some of that, and it, it turns out that it is Felicity. So so yeah, and now appropriately, three years to the day since we were introduced to to, to this character, three years exactly, <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, how appropriate would that be? Would that be really? That's uh, but, yeah, that's uh. But yeah, but yeah, but I I have a feeling that and probably over the next week we'll probably see, probably on, on home and away socials we'll probably see a lot of behind the scenes stuff, and maybe we'll see probably ja Jackie per Purvis who plays as Felicity, probably say her goodbyes obviously because, uh, uh, because obviously I, I think it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be you know wouldn't be. Wouldn't be good about, about you know saying goodbye to the fans, obviously. Uh, but um, but yeah, so um, so yeah, so pretty much, so pretty much, yeah. So there's going to be a lot of you know, uh, it, it, and also, and it, I'm not going to say this obviously also, but does it cause a bit of doubt in the wedding of Cash and Aiden now? Because obviously. Because obviously, Eden and Fel Eden and Felicity are very are very be are best friends. Would she, would she think that? Oh my! God, would she think base? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame her. If she thinks I can't do this wedding with, without without Felicity. And I'm not saying that she ends it, but maybe refuses. But maybe because because of the fact that she's lost her best friend. That that she just said, no, nah, I can't do this. I can't do this. Um, maybe that happens, but on the other side of things, you know, yeah, you know, obviously the brother in ca in cash would be really hurting at this point, and and probably help help him out as well. So so yeah, um, because well now at least. And because and because remember their their parents died years ago, years and years before they entered before before they came to Summer Bay, and now Cash is the only one in the family left. He's the only one because obviously his parents died 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 a long long time ago, and now Flick's gone. He's the only one. He's the only Newman left. 
So, so yeah, and obviously that's why Tane is there because obviously he's the only Parata there because obviously, um, because the, the ones that the Parata family, I think it was Addy, there was Ta there was uh, Niku, um, and there was plenty of others as well, and obviously you know Mia and Chloe also. As well, now he's the only one. He's now the only one, the only, but the family left. But uh, you know, family on the left. So yeah, um, so yeah, so it's so no wonder why you know uh, Tane is most likely going to be by you know by and by cash aside, obviously, because obviously he knows what it's like now to be to probably the sole member of a family left after everyone is dead. So yeah, but uh, but anyways. Uh, but but yeah, so so it seems like to me as though it's going to be a very emotional week for emotional week or so for, uh, on home and away for for sure for uh, for sure really on that front. Um, moving on, moving on um, to uh, let's just say a part three. In, in uh, originally, I was this was meant to be an all home and away episode. For this, for this third part, suddenly out of the blue, this morning, <laughs> out of the blue, this morning, this bit of I first got this information off of a um, neighbors like spoilers type because because if you guys don't know me already, but if you but if you don't you don't know me, I'm more of a guy that doesn't you know wait for episodes. To happen, to happen next. I, I'm, I'm always, thinking, always looking at, you know, websites and that sort of stuff to see what happen, what, what, what episodes, what happens in episodes that are, you know, a week or two down the line, um, because that just fuels my, you know, my curiosity and that sort of stuff, which is, you know, which at times not the best thing, but, but it's, but it's also a good thing as well to fuel your curiosity and that sort of stuff, and also fuel this mind here for a lot of theories, obviously. Um, and the first thing I got, uh, during the day while I was, while I was at work, when, um, well, went, no, got down for lunch, um, got the break for lunch, um, was the fact that it was confirmed of who, die, of who possibly dies in the outback. And, yeah, um, so, yeah. Um, and, and, and the, and then there was, there was two articles here. There was the one also back to the bay and that, and then there was a second one, um, uh, with, uh, with obviously now, now to love, which is basically, you know, it's sort of a thing with TV week and that sort of stuff. Um, that also got a bit, uh, also had a, um, had, uh, had a article about this, which is being, yeah, so... Right, let me run you through those two things now. So, here it is. So, it says, Neighbours spoilers. Tori and Melanie are in deep trouble. But, McFing but things uh, are, are even worse for Mackenzie. <laughs> so, yeah. So, by the way, um, if you got, if you guys... Uh, 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 but also, so before I read in this, because there's a lot of spoilers here... Yeah, all the spoilers here. Spoiler alert! If you if you're not interested, please turn off this video now. Please turn off this please turn off this video now. Um, if you're a neighbor, if you're a if you're a neighbor's fan, if you if you don't, then yeah, then then still watch this video or 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 do and then complain about it. So yeah. Uh, but anyways, um, so yeah, um, just I gave you a bit of a warning by the way. Mackenzie is shot. And and Toadie and Melanie kidnapped, tied uh, kidnapped, tied up, and left to die in a shocking week of neighbours that will leave fans breathless and fearing the worst. I'm already, I'm already, I'm or it's only like a week away now, and only a week away now, and I already can't wait for it. Let's put it that way. Tr the truth about Heath's identity and, and why he's he he come he comes to Erinsborough begins to emerge 
when Mackenzie looks into his into the slick into the slick businessman and his and his boss Tess. After war, after war, after Heif wants Mackenzie to back off, Toadie, accompanied by Melanie, goes to give him a piece of his mind, only to discover shocking new information about the pair. When when Tess, uh, when, when Tess and, and Heif's henchman Justin discovers Toadie and Melanie. He ties them up and transports them to an abandoned shack at, at Mount Harper in 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 the outback. The fun fact: take that take that place in the mind because it'll come come very very well later. <laughs> well, later. This this is what uh, Ryan Maloney said to TV Week, by the way. Toady is worried about he uh, uh, he uh, uh, he and Melanie's safety. Um, but he, uh, but also he, uh, what 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 this could mean for uh, for his children, mean for his children, uh, mean for Nell and Hugo, who've already lost one parent. That being Sonia, so yeah, so uh, so yeah. Me, uh, moving on. Mac's best friend Holly, uh, who who's been having an affair with Heath, is on a trip to Mount Harper with him. So, that's already three characters. Well, one uh, one on a romantic holiday, the other one, the other two are basically held hostage. So, anyways, a fact she's hidden from her, a fact she she's hidden from her from her friend. Convinced something isn't right, has decides to hack into into Holly's phone and uh, and went. And when he learns uh, where she is, he and Mac catch uh, catch the next flight to Mount Harper. When when they cross paths with Heath, it doesn't go well. His lies un his lies uh, his lies unraveling. He uh, uh, unraveling. He becomes erratic and reaches for a rifle to stop anyone from uh, who, uh, any, uh, stop anyone who might get in his way. Starting with Mackenzie. So this is what um, this is uh, this uh, and this uh, this next thing is what um, what Ethan Penzia Penzia also said. Um, who plays as Heath? By the way, uh, this is what he said uh, to TV Week. Heath, gra Heath grabs the gun. Was a uh, Heath grabbing the gun was a reaction to a situation that had go had gone out of hand. He, 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 with, uh, everything built up, and he and he was no longer thinking clearly. Poor Mac takes the bullet, and Tony, Melanie, and Holly flee in a desperate bid to escape being hunted down by the rifle wielding Heath. Strangely though, there's there's no there's no mentioning of, of has as has. So maybe he's caught up in I don't know. Don't know what that means anyways. Um one of the uh, one uh, one of those uh, one of those caught uh, one of those caught up in the in the gripping uh, drama will never see re one of those caught up in in the gripping uh, outback drama we we we, we, uh, we will ne we will never see, never see in Ranger Street again. But who? So yeah. So uh, so I think the, this is clarified, and there's also some, some some new photos too. Um, one of you know of in the aftermath of Mackenzie being shot. And the other one is Melanie and Holly um, frantically running through a field in the outback. Probably to get away from Heath in a lot of ways. But yeah, so um So yeah, so we've already had about 49 new spoiler, you know, photo, uh, photos surrounding uh, surrounding about about Outback Week. Now that now we've two two new ones here, it leads on the 51. So so yeah, that's uh but anyway, so so now, uh, now now we move 
to this to uh, that was from TV Week. Now this is on to um this is on to Back to the Bay. So so yeah, so uh, so this so I'll read you the article here. Plus also I'll leave the, the two articles that all the three articles I've read, uh, one about home, at home and away, and then the other two about neighbours in the description below, so you guys can read it. Um, and you guys can read those yourselves. Um, so yeah, neighbours. Neighbours Mackenzie revealed as Outback Week shooting victim. As 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 neighbours as death in the Outback Week gets in the way next week. Mackenzie is shot by Heath after the situation gets out of hand. One of the one of the, one of Neighbours' most dramatic weeks in years kicks off on on Monday, nineteenth of August, <laughs> as a number of our favourites head to the Australian outback, where they find find themselves caught up in a, in a da in a dangerous and unpredictable situation. Now, now TV Week has revealed that Mackenzie will be shot as as Heath grabs a gun when the situation spirals out of control. Could it, she be the one to die? I, I, it starts it starts like it, I think it's starting to be, feel that way. The show had already teased that someone wouldn't return to Erinsborough, and despite Toadie leaving the show in the coming weeks. We still have no idea whether Outback Week will see the tra see a tragic exit for the character who first arrived at, arrived back way back in 1995. With Toadie, Melanie, Mackenzie, Has, Holly, and Te Holly, Tess, and Heath all known to be heading to the heading to the bush, it seems likely that one of those seven will be the one to perish. The action begins when Tess, who is now the, now the Syncorp Group's head of Asia Pacific, tell, uh, tells her second in charge, Heath, to mount uh, to head to, uh, to Mount Harper to check on one of their investments. Heath takes the opportunity to invite Holly away with him, ha having recently begun seeing it, you know, seeing, seeing whilst whilst also sleeping with Tess again again I would love to be to be to be in Heath's sho Heath shoes sleep with not one but two chicks <laughs> yeah I I would love to be in his shoes let's put it that way never will but anyway but a guy could, a, a guy could dream like that right yeah right yeah no anyways moving on um with with Holly already jealous of Heath's relationship with Tess. It, 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 it's the perfect opportunity to, for them to get some alone time. The pair hang, hang out in a luxury lodge in, in a remote location, and Holly is gleefully happy as she takes the surroundings before before new boat in the, boat in the outdoor in the outdoor bath. Yeah, uh, that was also or, that was also in the in the promo for, for for the week as well for that week as well. Yet, TV Week reveals that, that Mackenzie continues to look into Heath after last week Last week saw her discover that he previously been, had been convicted of fraud under a different name. When Heath ge gives Mackenzie a clear warning to back off, most likely a threat, <laughs> she tells Tony and he, and he decides to give Heath a piece of his mind. He he and Melanie heads to heads to Heath's swanky swanky apartment, where they discover some shocking new information about the pair. That being, that being Heath and Tess as well. As early as early as spoiler, uh, spoiler for uh, pictures revealed, the ex-husband and wife's wife's decision to snoop turns sinister as they are caught by Heath. Uh, uh, and Tess's burly henchman Justin, who is who is played by Richard Sutherland, who, as you guys know, he he previously back in twenty fourteen played as Victor Cleary. Yes, if you if if you're uh, if you're uh, if you're a diehard Neighbours fan, you'll know that character pretty well because because he's the one that ended up killing, um, end up killing. Uh, Kate Ramsey. 
So yeah, um, back in 2014, which it was, which is still controversial even to this day, pretty much that death. But anyways, um, so yeah. So moving on, after Justin catches Toadie and Melanie, he t he ties them up before transporting them hundreds of miles to a bear. Excuse me, to an abandoned shack in in the in the middle of uh, middle of Mount Harper. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Meanwhile, when Mackenzie can't get a hold of Holly, who has failed to tell her tell her family and friends that she's going on a secret trip away with Heath, she begins to worry. Is Holly on on a trip away with with someone dangerous? We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find it out later. Has who this week considers selling Harold's cafe to to return to a, to a job in IT puts his old skill set to good use as he hacks into Holly's phone, trying to confirm exactly where she is. When when he manages to discover Holly's exact location, he and Mackenzie jump uh, jump on the next flight to the to the to the remote outback location. Now uh, it's now revealed that they managed to find Heath, and it doesn't go well. Thing, as I've already said, things are falling apart, and Holly becomes increasingly suspicious that something's wrong. With a photo re re released earlier earlier this week, earlier this week, well, actually no, actually that was last week, by the way. A uh, bit of a correction there. Uh, showing her hiding in the back of the ute, and so, so I think she's hidden there. As I said, there's someone in it, someone in the car in the ute. So maybe it drives off with her in it, quite possibly. Yeah, who knows? His behaviour becomes increasingly erratic. And he grabs a rifle. Um, rifle planning on shooting down anyone who gets in his way. Tragically, it's Mackenzie who ends up in the line of fire as she takes a bullet. Heath, um, Heath, gra uh, yeah, I've already said this, yeah, yeah. Yet Mackenzie is the only one at risk. At uh, risk. Tody, Melanie, Haz, and Holly are f are forced to flee as as they try to escape from the, from the desperate from the desperate situation, which is evolving hundreds of miles from the comfort of Ramsey Street. So yeah, we've already seen that. Yeah, yeah. Will Mackenzie survive her gunshot wound, or or and who will be left to die in the outback? Right. <laughs> So yeah, Ryan Maloney will know that. Yeah. So so basically it le so what this tells me is that theory I had in the first in part one about Mackenzie being the one that dies, I think that's just definitely proved that my, that my, that my that my prediction of Mackenzie being the one to die in the outback is right. I think she dies in the, in the outback because if you think about it here, all all that was set up, you know, if you think about it here, she had a job offer. <laughs> she had a job offer, <laughs> job offer, but turns it down because being being loyal to Toadie, <laughs> being loyal to Toadie, then. Obviously, looking into he looking into Heath's past, clue number two. The uh, clue number three. That be uh, the the part of the spoiler on the Monday episode says her protecting a reckless Holly. That's that's clue number three for me. So, so so those were uh, so uh, so, uh, so yeah, and then obviously working with Paul. That's number four. Um, and yeah, and, and so, yeah, so, and if it's true, then, of course, it's a shame, on one side, it's a shame, total shame, obviously, that the whole has and Mac relationship had to end in such a tragic way, um, but at the same time, it also teaches us things that, uh, teaches us fans, obviously, that the best things don't, don't always, 
they are there forever, pretty much. So yeah, so I think it's Mackenzie that dies uh, in the outback. Quite, quite honestly, it's uh. But yeah, so um, so yeah, and plus also, and plus also, I think I figured out some of the some of the photos here. I think if I go back. And look at the at the the at the most recent photos that got released. There was there's a photo there of Haz finding someone by a tree, and I think I know who it is. It's Holly that he's found. I I I could I could tell I can I can I could tell now. I think that's Holly that that. That is that is that, and, and maybe by this point, maybe Melanie has told Holly, "Oh, Mackenzie's been shot," and then maybe you know, maybe maybe she's an emotional wreck, and then has has found it, and then basically very quickly, he's just basically realised, "Oh my God, Max, Max, you know, out there, maybe I don't know," and then afterwards, who knows what happens afterwards, but. Uh, but that's all probably guesswork for now until until those spo until the spoiler photos come out for for the week after definitely out back definitely out back week. Um, now yeah, I still I still need to say out back week for freak's sake. But anyways, um, so yeah, so so yeah, so that's pretty much it really. Um, that's pretty much it really for this video. Uh, to to be honest, nothing else to to talk about re really about that. So so yeah. So I uh, like this video. I uh, share this to anybody who is you know a neighbors fan or a home or a home and away fan. Um, you know, co uh, comment down below. Um, comment down below. Uh, comment down below if, if you're home, if you're a home and away fan. What was what was the, the uh, what was your be your best, you know, Felicity Newman mo moment, you know, from you know the first, you know, the first, you know, the, you know the f the first, you know, first you know, first episode, where, uh, the first introduction of, of Felicity to maybe you know you have you know the you have you know the wet you have you know maybe the wedding that she has with Tane. Who know, Who knows? Um, it, it, oh, another moment. Uh, I would just love you guys. To, uh, I want to see uh, you guys' thoughts and opinions, and and also also uh, I've forgotten your neighbours' fans as well. Um, are you? Did did you also? Uh, did you pick Mackenzie to be the one that dies in in the outback? Or did you pick someone else? I would love to hear who who you do who, who did you guys pick? To be the one that to be the one that died in the outback, so just one there for for both fans, pretty much. Uh, and and one last thing somewhere down there, somewhere. Click on the big red button, which is labeled subscribe. It really does help me out quite a bit there on that front. Uh, but until next time, guys, I'll see you all later.